The media mogul who pissed off his limo driver. One frosty day in late November, a limo driver was conveying a media mogul to a party given by Martha Stewart at her charming estate in rural Connecticut, where the drinks would be ice cold, the guest list steaming hot, and the roast beast cooked to perfection. They were rocketing along on a country lane where there was no cell phone service, propelled by the grouchy mogul's constant ill-tempered exhortations. Faster! yelled the mogul, who was used to yelling at people he felt entitled to yell at. I don't want to be late to this fucking thing! Coming upon a seriously marshy bend in the road, the limo driver lost control of his Lincoln Town Car stretch, and the wheels of the ridiculous vehicle sank deep into a rut. The driver, aghast at the prospect of being late to deliver his infantile, narcissistic charge to the infantile, narcissistic social event where he was expected, stood alone looking at the automotive behemoth. After a while, when the master of all he surveyed did not emerge from the car to see what was going on or to assist in any way, the limo driver at last politely stuck his head into the warm, comfortable confines of the limousine and entreated his passenger to come and help him. I'm sorry, Mr. Gobchak, said the driver, but it will go faster if we do this together. The mogul climbed out of the limo, assessed the situation, and thus addressed his conveyor. Uh, put a large stick under the rear wheels, then gun the engine in low gear. After that, we're still in a rut and can't get out, Suggest you hike into town and arrange another limo for me and a tow truck for you. From here on in, don't ask somebody for help unless you've done everything you can do to help yourself. The limo driver thought about this for a long moment, then said to himself, Right. Left the mogul in the car, hiked into town, and had a nice dinner at the local tavern, while the entitled captain of commerce sat in the car until it ran out of gas, heat, and light. He was rescued only by chance when a fellow media mogul returning from the party came upon him walking aimlessly down the lane in the middle of the night, cold, hungry, and even more convinced about the insufficiencies of your average limo driver. The second media mogul, recognizing the first as a loathsome competitor, picked him up anyway so that he could have some leverage over him in subsequent business dealings. After they returned to Manhattan, the Good Samaritan also took the opportunity to provide the entire amusing story to page six. Moral, there is a right and a wrong time to annoy other people.